the book of Watchers, chapters 1 through 36. Chapter 1 The words of the blessing of Enoch, with which he blessed the elect and righteous, who will be living in the day of tribulation, when all the wicked and godless people are to be removed from the earth. And he began his story saying, I am Enoch, a righteous man, whose eyes were opened by God, and who saw the vision of the Holy One in heaven, which the angels showed me. And I heard everything from them, and I saw and understood. But it was not for this generation to know, but for a remote one which is to come. As I began my story concerning the elect, I said, The Holy Great One will come out from his dwelling, and the eternal God will tread on the earth even on Mount Sinai, and appear in the strength of his might from heaven, and all shall be very afraid. The watchers shall shake, and great fear and trembling shall seize them all the way to the ends of the earth, and the high mountains shall be shaken, and the high hills shall be laid low, and shall melt like wax in the flame, and the earth shall be completely torn apart and all that is on the earth shall be destroyed, and there shall be a judgment on all. Revelation chapter 21, verses 7 and 8. He who overcomes will inherit all this, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death, but with the righteous he will make peace, and will protect the elect, and mercy shall be on them. They shall all belong to God, and they shall prosper, and they shall be blessed, and the light of God shall shine on them. Revelation chapter 21, verses 23 through 25. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light, and the Lamb is its lamp. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. On no day will its gates ever be shut, for there will be no night there. And behold, he comes with ten thousand of his holy ones, saints, to execute judgment on all, and to destroy all the ungodly, wicked, and to convict all flesh of all the works of their ungodliness, which they have ungodly committed, and of all the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Jude chapter 1 verses 14 and 15. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints, to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them, of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Chapter 2 Observe everything that takes place in the sky, how the lights do not change their orbits, and the luminaries which are in heaven, how they all rise and set in order, each in its season, proper time, and do not transgress, defy their appointed order. Consider the earth, and understand the things which take place on it from start to finish, how steadfast they are how none of the things on the earth change, but all the works of God appear to you. Behold the summer and the winter, how the whole earth is filled with water, and clouds and dew and rain lie on. Chapter 3 Observe and see how, in the winter, all the trees seem as though they had withered and shed all their leaves, except fourteen trees which do not lose their foliage, but retain the old foliage from two to three years until the new comes. 
chapter 4. And again, observe the days of summer, how the sun is above the earth, and you seek shade and shelter because of the heat of the sun, and the earth also burns with growing heat. And so you cannot walk on the earth or on a rock because of its heat. Chapter 5 Observe how the trees are covered with green leaves and how they bear fruit. Understand, know, and recognize that he that lives forever made them this way for you, and all his works go on before him from year to year forever. And all the work and the tasks which they accomplish for him do not change, and so is it done. Consider how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish their course, do not change because of his commandments. But you, you have neither held to, nor have you done the commandments of the Lord. But you have turned away and spoken proud and hard words with your unclean mouths against his greatness. Oh, you hard-hearted, you shall find no peace. Therefore shall you curse your days and the years of your life shall perish, and the years of your destruction shall be multiplied, and in an eternal curse you shall find no mercy. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 26 through 28. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse, the blessing if you obey the commands of the Lord, your God, that I am giving you today the curse if you disobey the commands of the Lord your God, and turn from the way that I command you today by following other gods, which you have not known. In those days you shall make your names an eternal curse to all the righteous, and by you shall all who curse, curse, and all the sinners and godless shall curse you forever, and for you the godless there shall be a curse and all the elect shall rejoice, and there shall be forgiveness of sins, and mercy, and peace, and forbearance, and joy. There shall be salvation for them, like, and a good light. And for all of you sinners there shall be no salvation, but on you all shall abide a curse. But for the elect there shall be light, and joy, and peace, and they shall inherit the earth. And then wisdom shall be given to the elect, and they shall all live, and never again sin, either through forgetfulness or through pride. But those who are given wisdom shall be humble, and they shall not again transgress, nor shall they sin all the days of their life, nor shall they die of the anger or wrath of God. But they shall complete the number of the days of their lives, and their lives shall be increased in peace and their years will grow in joy and eternal gladness and peace all the days of their lives. Isaiah chapter 65, verses 1 through 9. I am sought of them that asked not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good, after their own thoughts, a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens, and burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves, and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh, and broth of abominable things is in their vessels, which say, Stand by thyself, Come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom, your iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hill. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servants' sakes, 
that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. Chapter 6 And it came to pass, when the children of men had multiplied, that in those days were born to them beautiful and fair daughters. Genesis chapter 6, verses 1 through 3. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his day shall be an hundred and twenty years. And the angels, the sons of heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose wives from among the children of men, and have children with them. And Simjaza, who was their leader, said to them, I fear you will not agree to do this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of this great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual curses, so we will not abandon this plan but to do this thing. Then they all swore together, and bound themselves by mutual curses. And they were in all two hundred, who descended in the days of Jared, in the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon, because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual curses on the act. Jude chapter 1 verses 5 and 6. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not, and the angels who kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day, and these are the names of their leaders, Samlazaz, their leader, Araklaba, Ramiel, Kokabalel, Tamlel, Ramlel, Danel, Ezekiel, Berkijel. Author's note, Samlazaz could be another spelling of Simjaza and possibly be the same entity. Asael, Armoros, Batero, Ananel, Zakiel, Samsapio, Sataru, Terrell, Jamjail, Sario, these are their chiefs of tens. The Nephil are referenced in the Book of Jubilees. Though we are not told about their appearance, there are references of Nephilim giants, monsters, and even men of renown. It is entirely possible that the Nephil were a type of Nephilim that gave rise to legendary monsters of mythology.